Hello friends, I'm uh, excited to welcome you to the session on asynchronous programming in JavaScript. So uh, in this session we will be seeing at first what is asynchronous. Okay, what is asynchronous is something which we don't know when it will return. That is asynchronous. Okay, if you want to explain the term, asynchronous means something like a call to the server which we don't know when it will return. If you handle uh, all those events, a, uh, that is like a event like going to the server synchronously, it means you are blocking the thread. And why in uh, JavaScript they say that uh, you have to move everything to asynchronous? Why not synchronous? So the reason is simple. Okay, JavaScript is single threaded and it has only a single stack, as I have mentioned in this slide single threaded okay there is no possibility to you to create extra thread as we create in java okay or any other languages so we have a single thread and that's why uh, we have said that you should never block the thread okay because we have only a single thread if we are going to block a thread with a process which will take time it means no other uh, events will be able to do its job if you for instance if i am blocking the current main thread for some time for doing some set time out maybe i am waiting for 10 seconds for uh, some http server to come back for that 10 seconds the user will not be able to click on the browser or do anything all the event handler or anything will not work because you have blocked the thread okay so that's why in javascript it is very needed that you should never block the thread because we have a single thread. I can prove that with a simple uh, example. Maybe take this browser, okay? Um, this browser, uh, for each tab in Chrome, we have a single thread because JavaScript has a single thread. It has a single thread. So now you are able to click on everything, right? If you are able to, if you click here, it will go to YouTube and everything, it is working. For instance, if I am going to block the thread which, uh, with a for loop, which is going to run for uh, more than 100,000 times and going to print i, if I am going to execute this, okay, now you see when I execute this, you will not be able to do any thing on the browser. I will execute it now. So now you see. The user will not be able to do any click or nothing will work because we have blocked the thread with your process. That's what in JavaScript it is told that you should never block the thread. You should always handle most of the events asynchronously with the callback, promise or observables, whatever. Okay. So just try to understand what I am trying to uh, elicit is. It is very important that you don't block the thread. You should handle it asynchronously in JavaScript. That is core of JavaScript. Because if you block the, your application, your web application will get uh, not responding for the time you are. That process is using the main thread. Okay. So just for uh, understand reiteration, I'm reiterating. So this is the reason for asynchronous nature of javascript the reason why we are told that javascript everything should be handled asynchronously is because it is single threaded this is not uh, very much needed in case of other languages because you can very well create your own thread for executing your process but in javascript it is not possible so you have to give that job to some other thing Okay, you maybe by using callback, we give it to the th thing uh, which is executing, like the browser API. Set timeout, if you take the set timeout, if you take it, is belongs to the browser API. So I give the browser API to execute the function with the callback. So once it has done the job, it will anyway through event loop, it will give it to the JavaScript engine that it will execute. But JavaScript will never wait for that set time out will to return okay so for uh, implementing asynchronous nature in javascript 
we first had callbacks callbacks i have a separate uh, session on that i will also add to this you can uh, very well see that promise after since the prom callbacks have had some issues we uh, then promise came and after promises we have observables okay observables is a better way of doing promises but uh, even in observable we use callbacks and even in observable we use promise it is just a higher level okay observables we uh, implement we have uh, many uh, uh, advantages okay over promises similarly promise will has some advantages over callbacks thank you guys i hope you understood kindly subscribe to get my new videos i will be posting a video at least two videos per week thank you guys bye